spotlight is Link Prediction Based on Graph ne uh, Neural Networks by Muhan Zhang and Yixin Chen. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Muhan Zhang. It is joint work with my advisor, Yixin Chen. Given an incomplete network, link prediction is to predict whether two nodes are likely to have a link. It has many applications, such as friend recommendation, product recommendation, biological interaction prediction, knowledge graph completion, and so on. A main category of link prediction methods are heuristic methods. A heuristic method calculates a proximity score for each pair of nodes as their likelihood of having a link. There are many very simple but effective heuristics for link prediction. Let's see some representative ones. I will use gamma x to denote the neighbor set of node x in the graph. The first one, called common neighbors, predicts links by counting how many common neighbors x and y share. It is widely used in social network friend recommendation. The common neighbors heuristic is a first order heuristic because we only need to know the one half neighbors of x and y to compute the score. The second one, preferential attachment heuristic, predicts links by the product of x and y's degrees. It assumes that x prefers to connect to y if y is popular. It's also first order. Now let's see a second order heuristic the atomic ADAR heuristic. Basically, it is a weighted common neighbors, where a high degree common neighbor such as node A is weighted less than a low degree common neighbor such as node B. It assumes that both X and Y connecting to A is not surprising because A also has many other connections. The AA heuristic is a second order heuristic because it involves up to two half neighbors of X and Y. Let's see some high order heuristics. The cuts index sums all the walks between x and y, where a longer walk is discounted more than a shorter walk. It is high order because one needs to search the entire network in order to find all the walks between x and y. Another popular high order heuristic is the rooted page rank, which uses the stationary distribution at node y of a random worker who randomly returns to node x as the likelihood of link x y. It is also high order heuristic. So generally speaking, high-order heuristics have a better performance than first and second-order heuristics. Despite the success of heuristic methods, there are several drawbacks. Firstly, heuristic scores are handcrafted graph structure features. They are not able to capture the general graph structure features that might be useful for link prediction. Secondly, uh, heuristic methods have strong assumptions on link formation mechanisms thus only working well on certain networks. In this paper, we propose the new link prediction framework SEAL, which overcomes the above drawbacks by automatically learning general graph structure features based on a graph neural network. It achieves new state-of-the-art link prediction performance. Given a set of positive training links and negative training links illustrated as link AB and CD in this figure, SEAL extracts a local neighborhood subgraph enclosing each training link. The local subgraph is then fed to a graph neural network to train a graph classification model. So why is classifying these subgraphs able to make link predictions? As we can see, if the subgraphs are large enough, we can, uh, we can accurately calculate all the first order and second order heuristics based merely on these subgraphs. Using a graph neural network, SEAL tries to learn such suitable heuristics. But the learned features are general it does not rely on any predefined heuristics. But how about high order heuristics? We know that high order heuristics often have better performance at the cost of requiring the entire network. Does this mean that we need to extract the entire network in order to learn high order heuristics? The answer is no. We developed a gram decaying heuristics theory to support it. Our main results as, are as follows. We prove that a wide range of higher order heuristics can be unified into a single gram decaying heuristic framework, including the CAS index, rooted page rank, sim rank, etc. This means that they intrinsically share the same form. We also prove that under mild assumptions, all gram decaying heuristics can be well approximated from local enclosing subgraphs, and the approximation error decreases exponentially. This means that we don't need uh, the entire network to learn high order heuristics, but often a small subgraph is enough. See you at poster number 121. The location on the slide is not correct. It will be in room 517 AB. Thank you.